So I researched China for my presentation that I gave here now at BTC Prague, and it was part of my presentation. I had a few slides about it. And so the stage where China is in relation to CBDC is that they launched it a few years ago. And they launched, it's called the Digital Yuan, E-C-N-Y, that's the, that's the official name of the CBDC there. And it was quite uh, unsuccessful. When they launched it, very few people adopted it. Not many digital wallets were open. Uh, a lot of people were reporting that there is very low interest from the public. And so what the Chinese government was doing was basically airdropping or bribing <laughs> the, the population, giving them free money. And it didn't really work well. Now, Alipay and WeChat have the largest market share of uh, digital payments today through payment apps that are integrated almost everywhere. They're more than like north of 85, 90% of the market share is both these companies, Alipay and WeChat. And so people didn't really see a need to replace what they're already using and introduce another app called the digital yuan and start using that instead. There was no good incentive. There was an incentive, the free money, but it wasn't enough, I guess, to bribe the, the population. And so people were very, I think, in, in our community was very, were very um, hurry, too hurry to, or too quick to say the digital yuan has failed because people did not adopt it. Now you gotta be very smart about it because governments don't give up so quickly. <laughs> Even if they fail in the first round, they try again in the second round and third round. And they've got a very low time preference, like we say as Bitcoiners, right? They see long term. They d they're not like us thinking about next year and the budget and what we're gonna do. They see 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead.